that I think I'm very good at, if I was going to be immodest for just a moment, is spotting talent. I think that I have a talent for spotting talent. And when I saw our next speaker on the internet sometime within the last year, I just instantly was like, this girl is a star. She's a total, total star. And I can't wait to see where she's going from this point forward and how she blows up. And I hope she will always keep a little space in her life for walk away because this girl's going places. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Gothics. start off by saying, in case you couldn't figure it out, I'm black. Okay? Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, the Democrats don't own my vote. <laughs> so, how did I get here? I have some notes because I am, uh, I love having brain farts when I talk, so just in case. All right, so first of all, I walked away in 2020 uh, during the peaceful protests, okay? Uh, and that was the first year that I voted for a party that wasn't Democrat. Did I mention before that I had severe Trump derangement syndrome? I cut off ties with friends, uh, people that were closest to me because I couldn't understand why they would vote for Oasis. Uh, but little did I know, it was because uh, brainwashing, if I'm just yeah. being totally honest with you. So, uh, how did I get here exactly? So let's bring this back to 2019. Uh, Disney, are you familiar with Disney? Yeah. Oh, they're rolling, they're rolling. They're rolling it, yes. <laughs> so, they, yes, they do. So Disney announced that they were gonna be doing a remake of The Little Mermaid. And, and if you don't know who The Little Mermaid is, she is a white woman with red hair. And for some reason, they wanted to cast a black woman. And I was like, what, why? So I go on Twitter and instantly I just see a bunch of woke people saying, well, if you don't like this, you must be racist. Oh, and I, you know, I don't like that idea of just throwing around racism like it's candy, you know, you gotta have a good reason for it. So I just vocalize my opinion, hey, can you stop calling people racist? And uh, if you guess, they didn't appreciate that. So I was instantly labeled anti-black. Uh, I was told that I hate myself, that I hate other black people. And I was a white supremacist. Yes, I can call that too. And my uh, career that I had at the time was I was a live streamer uh, making video game content. And I started to lose support. I lost sponsors. And I was just smeared as someone that just hated the black community. So. Uh, after that, I started to notice that uh, th after I started to see that, you know, with the pandemic that magically came up all of a sudden, uh, I did my part and I stayed at home to help flatten the curve. And to be honest, I was a little bit scared when the magical pandemic started, I know. And I started to do my part until I started to notice the hypocrisy that was coming from the left. Now, I have some notes here about the hypocrisy for a second. So, let me get this straight. You can't see your family, and you can't attend a funeral, but you can go out and march in the thousands to raise money to buy mansions for an organization that doesn't really care about black people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the media calls Trump rallies super spreaders, but for some reason, for some reason, thousands upon thousands of BLM supporters didn't do anything to increase the count of COVID. Okay. Uh, yes, and the last, the last thing that I noticed was that people who protested against vaccine mandates or, or, or they were against wearing masks, these people were labeled as dangerous extremists. Uh, but for some reason, peaceful protesters can burn down businesses, intimidate people, you can destroy public property, and you can loot entire stores because apparently black people want reparations. Uh, and if you didn't understand, uh, that's not reparations, that's called theft. Uh, so, 
Let me go back to my little note over here. So uh, there is no privilege, by the way, all right? Uh, there's no such thing as white privilege. Uh, the only privilege that is there is uh, a political party being able to gaslight the entire nation into yeah. voting for them. That's the privilege. Yeah. And this is the party that wants to keep you dumb, weak, yeah. and afraid yeah. to weaponize That's your right. vote come election time. That's they right. don't care about you. They'll say they do, but they don't. Because let's actually think about it. What has it showed? Are your communities any better? No. no. Are the gas prices going down? No. Do your kids know how to do their math and know how to read? No. No, but they know what transgenderism is. Yeah. They know what white privilege is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let me see what else I got over here. All right, because I have, I have brain farts. All right, so. I wanted to end this off by just saying that I used to be someone that was on the left. I have to keep reiterating this because very often people say, why don't you listen to the other side? Because I was there and I understand what it's like. So now is the time that we have to unite. We have to be able to unite with other people, other freedom loving people and come together as a nation. It is time for us to think for ourselves as individuals instead of blindly electing people who say nice things to us during election time. And lastly, uh, I realized during my wake up moment that I wasn't oppressed uh, and I didn't need to elect uh, a political party because they care about black people. I, I need to do that. Uh, but I also, I am not a victim. I am a freedom-loving American that doesn't need a political party to convince me that my life matters. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys get out and vote. <laughs> you get out and vote, okay? Tell your friends, all right? Tell your neighbors, go out and vote, mingle, unite, and uh, let's go Brandon. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to keep my griff going, consider picking up some official merch by visiting gnosisnose.com forward slash gothics or joining my locals community at gothics.locals.com for more content. As always, you can help amplify my message by giving this video a thumbs up and by sharing it online with your friends. Until next time.